Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on the three X's of ISO 222. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. So we're going to take a look at XRP, XLM, and XDC. And we see here, we know XRP is central banks, instant settlement, and on-demand liquidity. We also know XLM is for the people, peer-to-peer, -peer and retail. XDC is handling world trade, invoicing, and quality assurance. That literally is all the money. But is any one of these cryptocurrencies more important than the other? Or even more valuable than the other? So let's continue. UK government publishes stablecoin adoption rules through new markets bill. Then we see this. A new stablecoin bill from the Biden administration may pass quickly in Congress. We know these stablecoins are coming. XLM actually excels a little bit better with stable coins then we see this xdc is turning the entire corda network into a hybrid network where xdc can be used as a settlement vehicle impel is already engaging with the largest global banks and payment companies Imp impel plus r3 corda bridge globally dominant within two years or less that's how close we are between the stable coins and this and we know what's coming in November and a lot of people are very worried about that and honestly when I first started looking into you know ISO and everything else at first I was like wow this is, it seems like a conspiracy theory I'm talking like two years ago and I thought anybody who really talked about this was a tinfoil hatware but here we are today and this is getting implemented into our daily lives. We see it with CBDCs. And we see it with, you know, the digital euro, the digital US dollar. So the XRP Summit. XRP was not meant for quick trades or the public. It was created for financial institutions. So that should give XRP a lot of value also. But we know XDC is going to excel in trade. So is one more important than the other? XRP and XLM are the only two networks built from the ground up for cross-border payments, and they are the leader in clear clearing and settlement. Nothing comes a distant three. XDC is five years away. But here's the thing. XDC is not made for that. It's made for trade. There's trillions of dollars in trade. There's also trillions of dollars in person-to-person -person payments. And there's trillions of dollars in the Nostro Vostro accounts alone. So think about it. If there's trillions of dollars running with each one of these cryptocurrencies, does that make one more valuable than the other? So we see this. Ripple, XRP, we know all that, right? And we already know about this map. This is what we just talked about. This is the new financial system. And we know this is coming. But I believe that it's a little bit bigger than what we're actually looking at. I feel XDC needs Ripple and Ripple needs XDC somehow. They all need each other for this system to work. And I'm sure at some point each of these will provide some sort of liquidity or value to each other. And then we see this. NFTs in the medical field would be huge. Why? Patients can monetize their own health records and data also prevent companies from selling their data, prevent forged prescriptions, track drugs to see where they're coming from. XRP, XLM, XDC. Now we also know that every each one of these companies are big into NFTs now. I always say it, they're rounded cryptocurrencies. They have unlimited utility unlimited use case and they continue to grow even in crypto winter so iso 222 coins not rebounded yet so why are the prices sitting down if they have all of this going on if they have all of these this use case and all of this utility why aren't they exploding in price right now 
I said it before and I will say it again. I believe these prices are very suppressed prices. Maybe they're lacking regulatory clarity for the U.S. Maybe that's what's holding them back. We know Ripple's still tied into the lawsuit with the SEC. I think once that's over, all of these cryptos are going to explode very quick. Because we know they're all tied together. So 10 trillion in trade annually, plus 45 million businesses for ICC. XDC won't just be handling money, debt, and data, but digitizing all of the below documents too. A 13B circulating supply excluding lockups, node staking, is nothing compared to the potential demand. And this is what XDC is going to be dealing with. Bills of lading, bills of exchange, marine insurance documents, cargo insurance certificates, promissory notes, seaway bills, ships delivery orders, warehouse recipients. That's all part of trade. That's where the money is going to pour into XDC. Then if we take a look at this, when people ask you why XRP will be worth so much, it's the only asset capable of bridging all the money. It really is that simple. So that's where XRP's value is going to come from. Then we see this, IBM and XLM. Worldwire is worth looking at also. Their recent partnership with MoneyGram. I don't think it's competing with XRP as much as many think. It can be bank, it can bank the unbanked, XLM, person to person, retail and SMEs, XRP, bank to bank and institutions. You need both. One does something other than the other. Just like XDC does something other than what XRP and XLM is doing. So they're all equally important in my opinion. I don't, I know a lot of people say, well, XDC will never get to the price of XLM or to the price of XRP. And XLM will never exceed the price of XRP or never even come close to it. But I don't think that's true. And I said this many times. I think these cryptocurrencies are built for specific needs in the new financial system. I think each of them gets their value from their own individual utility and use case. Because each one has separate use cases even other than the ones that we look at here. It, they're all tied to NFTs. They're tied to music. They're tied to metaverse. They're tied to everything. They are rounded cryptocurrencies. So I don't think it matters if one can out, you know, perform the other. So understanding Stellar, MoneyGram int- integration... It's not about remittances. It's an on-off ramp solution for fiat, mainly now a cash-out functionality globally. Stellar USDC is more cost-effective. This is a stablecoin solution on Stellar Rails. So Stellar has that also. Plus they're tied to Circle for stablecoins. And they're also tied to everything else that we just talked about, Web3. NFTs. XLM plus USDC equals digital dollar. Stellar becomes official blockchain for USDC. Stablecoin digital dollar. Now think about that. That should add even more value. But does it still get to XRP's value? And honestly, does it really matter? Here's the way I look at it. I always tell you on this channel, diversify your portfolio. Don't become a maxi in one of these coins. They all have their own utility, their own use case, their own potential. That's why I buy a little bit of each. Because I figure, at least if I buy a little bit of each and hold a little bit of each, at some point, they will all make me rich. They will also make you rich. More than half the battle was just stumbling upon XRP, XLM, XDC, and QNT. The average person on the street has no clue what it is. The other half is holding and being patient. 
And patient is a lot easier when you know what you hold. And that's the thing. You're holding right now for your financial freedom. You're being patient and sitting back and waiting because you know your financial freedom is wrapped up into these cryptocurrencies. You don't really have to worry. It's just a matter of whether or not you want to diversify. You want to buy a little bit of XDC or XLM, whatever you're not holding. XRP. I hold all three of these because I know the potential of each one individually. And so should you. That's why we always break down use case and utility on this channel. Because I want you to see what I see. Why I invested. If I didn't think these were a safe uh, investment, I wouldn't even be talking to you about it. I said it in another video. Ethically, I would not feel right about telling you to go out and buy the meme coin of the day. Or investing in something that is even sketchy in the slightest. But these, you could actually see the system getting built. You could see the use case. You could see the utility. And in my opinion, that's what makes them safe. So with that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.